special equipment which uses concentrated solar light for Earth protection against asteroids, like Gun. The special equipment which uses concentrated solar light for Earth protection against asteroids proposed in this paper could be placed on a solar orbit close to the Earth or on the Earth's orbit. This special equipment represents a system which includes one large and one small parabolic mirrors both highly reflective and with the same focal point. The reflectivity of a mirror is given by reflective foils, or plates, which are stretched on a lightweight parabolic support for the mirror. The light rays coming from the sun are focalized by the large parabolic mirror onto the focal point, afterward they are reflected by the small parabolic mirror as a group of parallel rays which pass through a central hole located in the center of the large parabolic mirror. A mirror tube attached to the large parabolic mirror by means of an articulation permits the orientation of the concentrated light beam as required, c. Main Design Features of Sexel The Role and Functions of the Main Components Large Parabolic Mirror Roll, Capture and Focus Sunlight onto the Common Focal Point Small Parabolic Mirror Roll, Receives the light rays coming from the large parabolic mirror and reflects them forming a beam of concentrated parallel rays of light. Mobile Mirror Tube Guide Roll, Directs the light beam as required. Spherical Articulation Roll, Permits the rotation of the light guide around one point. Resistance Structure Roll, Keeps in position the foil forming the large parabolic structure. The foil is stretched on this structure. Connection Structure Roll, Aligns the mirrors so their axes are always parallel and their focal point is common. Positioning Engines Roll, Keep the sex in the correct position and maintain stability. Large Parabolic Mirror Roll, Capture and focus sunlight onto the common focal point. Small Parabolic Mirror Roll, Receives the light rays coming from the large parabolic mirror and reflects them forming a beam of concentrated parallel rays of light. Mobile Mirror Tube Guide Roll, Directs the light beam as required. Spherical Articulation Roll, Permits the rotation of the light guide around one point. Resistance Structure Roll, Keeps in position the foil forming the large parabolic structure. The foil is stretched on this structure. Connection Structure Roll, Aligns the mirrors so their axes are always parallel and their focal point is common. Positioning Engines Roll, Keep the sexla in the correct position and maintain stability. The sexla is table in space, according to the law of momentum conservation, the sum of all light impulses is zero. However, when the light beam is directed toward the target, this balance is changed, and compensation forces must be applied to keep the system in position, i.e., with the concave side of the large parabolic mirror oriented toward the sun. Solar power is the key future for our civilization to expand in space. The main component of this power is electromagnetic radiation. The spectrum of solar radiation is the spectrum of a black body having a temperature of 5800 K. The electromagnetic radiation is emitted in a broadband of frequencies. Electromagnetic energy is initially emitted in the range of gamma rays, as a result of nuclear fusion reactions. Gamma rays during their travel from the sun's core to the surface are converted into low-energy photons. Thus the sun does not emit gamma rays, it emits only X-rays, ultraviolet light, visible light, infrared light, and radio waves. The spectrum of nearly all solar electromagnetic radiation striking the Earth's atmosphere ranges from 100 nanometers to 1 millimeter. And the power emitted by the sun under the form of X-rays and ultraviolet is low. Most of the power is emitted in the range of visible light. Infrared and radio frequencies have less power. Assuming the sexless place near the Earth, the irradiance can be assumed to be E equals 1360 W slash M2. The Spectrum of the Sun Both mirrors are made from gold-plated mylar foil with remarkable reflectivity coefficient. Shows that for most frequencies, Gold has a reflection coefficient of Rg equals 0.98 compared to aluminium or silver. In the case of the sexel, the best foil should be made of gold-plated fine and thin graphite fabric due to gold's remarkable reflection coefficient and graphite's high heat transfer coefficient and high emissivity coefficient. Reflection Coefficient of Metals If the large parabolic mirror is oriented with a reflective, concave, face towards the sun, the amount of energy captured is maximized. For example, 
If the large mirror has a radius of r equals 10 meters and assuming the solar irradiance is E equals 1360 W slash M2, the total collected power is. The total collected power is significant. However, when this radius increases, the power collected from the sun becomes very high. Table 1 shows the correlation between the sex mirror diameter and the amount of collected power. As shown in the table, when the radius of the large parabolic mirror r equals 50 meters, the collected power is p equals 10,681.4 kilowatts. Such a mirror is relatively easy to be built in space due to the absence of gravitational forces. Collected solar power for different large parabolic mirror radii. For a simple sample calculation, assume that a sexla having a radius of large parabolic mirror, r equals 50 meters, is focused on an iron asteroid for 10s. Consider iron properties listed in the literature. Melting temperature, TM equals 1538 degrees Celsius, TM equals 1811K. Boiling temperature, TB equals 2862 degrees Celsius, TB equals 3135K. Heat capacity, C equals 0.45 kilojoules slash KGK, considered the same for solid and liquid iron. Heat of fusion, CF equals 247.3 kilojoules slash kg. Heat of vaporization, CV equals 6088.3 kilojoules slash kg. Melting temperature, TM equals 1538 degrees Celsius, TM equals 1811K. Boiling temperature, TB equals 2862 degrees Celsius, TB equals 3135K. Heat capacity, C equals 0.45 kilojoules slash kgk, considered the same for solid and liquid iron heat of fusion, CF equals 247.3 kilojoules slash kg. Heat of vaporization, CV equals 6088.3 kilojoules slash kg. The heat quantity needed in order to vaporize 1 kilogram of iron can be calculated. Reading from table 1 the power for the mirror with a radius r equals 50 meters, in 10 as the power beam into the asteroid is. This total energy can vaporize a mass of iron given by hitting the asteroid continuously, hundreds or thousands of times, in this manner, it can be deflected from a collision trajectory with the Earth. Even the trajectory of massive asteroids can be changed. Due to local vaporization of the asteroids, mass leads to the apparition of a reaction force produced by the expanding vapors. In space the construction of such a gigantic system should be easier due to the absence of gravity. Calculations done using the above equations show that in sexal having the radius of the large parabolic mirror r equals 10 km can send a beam of concentrated light into the asteroid at a power of 0.427 terawatt. Such a power can vaporize an iron asteroid having the mass of 100 tons in just 8 s. The time required to destroy or deflect an asteroid using the SEXA system is reasonably low. Practically, the asteroid can be destroyed in a few minutes because obviously the SEXA beam hits the target with the speed of light. Simple calculations show that SEXA works properly both near the Earth, where irradiance E equals 1360 W M2, and at 0.1 astronomical units distance from the Sun, where irradiance is S equals 136,000 W slash M2. Assume that a sexal placed near the Earth having the large parabolic mirror radius RLPM equals 10 km and the radius of the small parabolic mirror RSPM equals 1.25 km, this system is capable of concentrating the sunlight by a factor of 64. Consider that the reflection coefficient for a gold-plated foil RGF slash P equals 0.98 and the emissivity of carbon fabric slash plate EC1. Assume that the whole power absorbed by the gold-plated foil is radiated according to Stefan Boltzmann law. N, 1, sigma equals 5.67 middle dot 10 minus 8 W slash M2 K4 represents the Stefan Boltzmann coefficient for black body radiation. Using the given data. Thermal balance is achieved at T equals 410 K, T equals 137 degrees Celsius, which is under the maximum allowable working temperature for carbon composites with polymeric matrix, T equals 280 to 300 degrees Celsius. 
Considering that the thickness of the gold-plated foil is delta equals 0.05 mm and the average thermal transfer coefficient for graphite is lambda equals 80 WMK at E equals 137 degrees Celsius, the temperature difference delta T needed for heat transfer from the gold reflective face to the rear carbon face is given by the following thermal balance equation. For the given equation, the thermal difference necessary for heat transfer would be delta T equals 0.001 degrees Celsius. The result shows that heat is quickly transferred from the gold-plated face to the graphite fabric slash plate due to the high thermal conductivity of the graphite and small thickness. At the beginning of this lecture, we've stated that Sexel works properly even at 0.1 astronomical units from the sun, where the irradiance is 100 times stronger. Considering the same constants and mirror dimensions as before and using, 1, we find that the surface temperature of the small parabolic mirror is TSBM equals 1296 K, TSBM equals 1023 degrees Celsius, which is under the melting point of pure gold, 1064 degrees Celsius. Thermal balance at the surface of the large parabolic mirror is achieved at TLPM equals 476 K, TLPM equals 203 degrees Celsius, still under 280 to 300 degrees Celsius, the working temperature limit for carbon fiber composite with polymeric matrix. In the cell design is based on triangular shapes.